Yo what's going on guys Tanmay here for simple snippets and welcome back to another video tutorial under data structures and algorithms so this is sort of like the fourth video tutorial in this playlist and in this video tutorial we are going to be taking a quick theoretical look at the term which is known as algorithm so basically we are going to understand what exactly is an algorithm and this is going to be a very short video tutorial but this term algorithm is going to be used so many times in this entire tutorial series that it is important to understand it and break it down in simple terms so make sure you watch this video till the end it's going to be a very short video as i mentioned and we'll take a look at the definition of algorithm what are the characteristics and we'll also see an example and compare the real world example to a programmatic and data structures oriented example so with that being said let's get started so starting off with what is an algorithm so let's start off with a little bit of dictionary definition and as you can see on the screen the dictionary definition says a process or set of rules to be followed in calculations or other problem solving operations especially by computers so this term algorithm basically is used a lot in computer science especially in computer programming and data structures wherever there is a particular process being followed but in real life or in real world scenarios also we follow algorithms but we don't call it algorithms we call it processes or set of instructions or some procedures you know so there is a different name but basically algorithm is a finite set of instructions that are carried in a specific order to perform a specific task so this is a very broad scoped definition right so this is not just applicable to computer science so what do i mean by this we'll take a real world example and then you'll understand but let's first understand little bit of characteristics of what an algorithm has so typically algorithm follows a particular characteristics it has some inputs so it has zero or more input values that is you pass in some values given some input to the entire algorithm or input to the entire process you get one or more output so at the end of the entire algorithm that is the end of the process you get some results an algorithm pretty much should be unambiguous which means that the instructions in the algorithm should be clear and simple an algorithm should have finiteness which means that there should be limited number of instructions which means the number of instructions should be finite or countable basically and the last one is effectiveness which means each instruction has an impact on the overall process now again i'll repeat it an algorithm is basically a finite set of instructions that are carried in specific order to perform specific task so they are just basic instructions set of rules set of protocols set of procedures which are carried in a specific order the order matters to perform a particular task now this is as i mentioned is a generic example so how can we relate this to a real world scenario so let's take an example so here is a real world example and the question here is process to make lemonade so lemonade is a lemon drink so i'm calling it an algorithm also so a process can be related to another term but in programming we use algorithm we use the word algorithm more compared to the word process but they are pretty much similar to each other so that's why in brackets i have written ak which means also known as process to make a lemonade so what is the process the step number 1 is you cut the lemon in half so here is the first image then you move on to the second the second step is squeeze all the juice out of it so you can pour your juice into container so step 2 and 3 so you can see step 2 and 3 then we have step 4 which is add a very small amount of water to your container step 5 stir your solution fill up the container with water and add ice put your lemonade in the fridge for 5 minutes and then it is ready now this was a very simple example right this was a real world example which showed you a process of making lemonade now this process as i mentioned that is this real world example can be compared to an algorithm also right because by the definition of algorithm an algorithm is a finite set of instructions that are carried in specific order to perform a specific task now this same algorithmic definition can be applied over here also we have a finite set of instructions we have eight instructions basically which are carried in a specific order so you cannot change the order over here you cannot perform step 5 before you do step 4 right so we have this specific order only and it is used to perform a specific task and the task here is to create the lemonade so ultimately step number 8 is a result so the inputs were lemon and water and ice but the output was lemonade right so we got some input we got some output also so it's pretty relatable right another example if you want can be compared to any actually real world scenario construction of a building making of a car or any other process where steps are required in a particular order and now i think the real world examples can be relatable to the concept of algorithm right so now let's see in the programming world how an algorithm is So here's an example in programming. So the question here is write an algorithm to add two numbers entered by the user. So you can see step number one, you start 
Step number two, you declare variables. So if you have any kind of programming background, we have the concept of variables. We create variables. So here we are creating three variables, num1, num2 and num3 or sum basically over here. Step three is reading values of num1 and num2. So we are asking the user to enter the numbers which he or she wants to add because that's the algorithm, right? That's the problem statement given over here. Step four is addition of num1 and num2 and storing it in the third variable sum. Step five is to display that sum and step six is we've completed the process, right? So this is how a typical algorithm in programming terms looks like wherein you actually literally write down all the steps properly and you can also convert this into a flowchart scenario. So you can see over here a flowchart is visually more understandable at times. So you can see the start and stop is denoted by circles green and red. The rectangle ones are where you actually do some processing. The parallelograms are where you do input and output. So here we are just declaring the numbers that is the variables. Here we are taking input. So reading values num1 and num2. Then we are calculating the sum and storing it in the sum variable. So this is processing happening. So that's why there is a rectangle. Then we also display the sum in a parallelogram. So we display the output and then our algorithm is finished. So this is a very basic example of an algorithm. And if you're wondering why exactly do we need these algorithms? So when you visualize or when you implement complex programs in computer programming, we are talking in perspective of computer programming right now, you actually need to first write down all the steps because when you actually go ahead and implement it, you're going to be writing some code, right? So if you directly start off writing with code, many a times what happens is you do not understand the logic and you make a lot of mistakes. So if you already have written down all the steps properly, step by step, in proper English terms in an algorithmic way like this. So that becomes very easy later on to convert these steps into programs. So you can read, okay, step number one is starting. So you declare some basic boilerplate template in your code. So let's say you're working in C++. So when you say step one is start, you just basically open your code editor and include the hash, include iostream.h header file. You write down void main and all those basic things. So the step two is declare variables. So you create variables over here. Step three is reading values. So you use C in to take values from the user. If it's a command prompt, step four is adding. So you perform addition. And then now you can see, you can easily convert these English written sentences. That is the algorithm steps into equivalent code in the program. Now, this was a very easy example, but when we move ahead to complex programs, understanding the algorithm first, understanding the process first is going to be very important. And then implementing it in terms of programming is going to be very easy. So this is the reason why algorithm is very important and I hope by now you've understood the term algorithm because we're going to be using this a lot as we move ahead as we've already talked about. And yeah, this was the basics of what exactly is an algorithm in terms of the real world as well as in terms of the computer science and programming world. So that's it for this video guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Do share it with your friends. Let me know in the comments how this video was and I hope this term algorithm is now cleared in your head. It's just the step by step process carried out to perform a particular task. So thanks for watching guys. See you guys in the next video. Peace.